Hi, welcome back to the Cannabis Sommelier. I'm your host, Andrew Friedman, and thanks for joining me for another episode of Cannabis and Wine Pairings. Today, I have two producers from British Columbia, Canada that I'm excited to present for you. First, the wine is from Serendipity Wines. Serendipity, a perfect coincidence, and that's exactly what it was when I tasted this wine. I really enjoyed it and fell in love with it and actually brought this back from my wine trip to the Naramata Bench last summer. So the Naramata Bench is this picturesque wine region on the cliff side of the Lake Okanagan uh, in British Columbia. It has a great growing season, beautiful rainfall. It's, uh, in my opinion, my favorite wine growing region in Canada, and not only partial because I did my first vintage there. So this is a Sauvignon Blanc. Um, let's see how it smells and tastes. Nice, light, crisp, very, very light, uh, yellow, almost a greenish tinge to it. On the nose, it's very pungent. Uh, boysenberry, grapefruit, a little bit of the grass characteristic. Smells delicious. On the palate, very balanced. High acidity, it's making my cheeks work instantly. Grapefruit, boysenberry, some minerality, and then that distinct grassiness that leads you uh, to guess Sauvignon Blanc when you're blind tasting it. Because of that grassy taste, Sauvignon Blanc may go very well with rosin. I haven't chosen a rosin today, but I have chosen a PHO from Holistec. And the extract I chose is a black cherry limeade PHO canvas extract. So PHO as opposed to BHO referring to um, propane. And there's a little bit of a negative connotation with propane because people don't understand that the smell is actually added by humans so that we can detect it. It's completely odorless and tasteless um, when, when used as a solvent. So the extract has a beautiful color, um, bright gold, almost with a slight orange tinge. It's completely saucy. And on the nose, it smells like, like a cherry licama, like a like uh, cherry Kool-Aid powder, lime zest, lime peel, lime fun dip, because it smells kind of candied. It's very indicative of the name. It smells like black cherry limeade, which is really cool. So from the cannabis extract, to the wine, it really highlights that boysenberry and grapefruit and makes the wine smell so pleasurably acidic. It's, uh, it's very interesting how much it changed it. And when I smell back to the extract, it makes it smell like sweet cherries. It eliminates that sour uh, oh, smell that I was perceiving before and makes it very sweet. Yeah, delicious. Now it truly does smell like uh, like I've dipped my fun dip stick into the cherry fun dip. I wonder how they're gonna taste together. And on a second sniff, it now, it smells like a lemon starburst as well as I'm warming it up in my hands. Lemon creaminess from the starburst. So first dab. Very interesting. On the palate, it has a very fresh taste. Like I've walked into an indoor garden. It almost reminds me of peony or like a white rose. And then it definitely has cherry uh, and candied lime peel. This is a phenomenal extract and I would definitely look for it again. It changes the wine on my nose and almost makes me imagine it's orange. It's really messing with the citrus flavors now. Tangerine, that's the word.
and on the palate, it blends so well together. It makes the wine taste very, very floral, very alive and bright. I don't know the exact white flowers, but it reminds me of a fresh spring bouquet. It's absolutely delicious. This pairing really reminds me of springtime and it's very fitting um, that spring has just sprung. So if you have the opportunity, I would definitely suggest finding black cherry limeade from Holistec and trying it with Sauvignon Blanc from Serendipity Wines in the Naramata Bench in British Columbia. Have it with some shrimp, a light salad, and this will be delicious. Till next week, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and thanks for joining me. Cheers.